I don't know if you've had time this summer to spend some time outside looking at maybe um, nature and some of the insects and things that are around your house. You might have observed some ants and watched them uh, around their ant hill. And this story today is called Inside an Ant Colony. And it is a true story. And so that's called nonfiction. And it is uh, written by Alan Fowler. And then we have photographs in here. So we know that the information we're going to get is going to be true. And it's going to give us some facts about ants. Ants always seem to be busy. You often see them hurry out of a hole in the ground or scurry back into it. And they're always very busy, always moving, working, working, working. That hole is the entrance to an ant colony. Each ant colony is like an underground city. It has rooms called chambers where the ants live and work, tunnels, connect the chambers. Some kinds of ants build hills around the entrances to their colonies. They make the hills out of soil and twigs. Not all ants nest underground. Carpenter ants live in trees or in dead wood or in the wooden walls of buildings. Some ants build hills as high as the ceiling of your classroom. That is one big ant hill. Small colonies are very small with just a few ants. A big colony could have as many ants as a big city has people. Just like people in a city, ants work at many different jobs. Most of the ants in a colony are workers. The workers are females that have no wings and cannot lay eggs. Some workers look after the younger ants. Some gather food and bring it to a storage chamber. Other worker ants dig out tunnels or build ant hills or keep the colony clean. The colony might have a chamber where the ants keep insects called aphids the way human farmers keep cows. Ants milk aphids for a sweet liquid that they drink. Queen ants have wings and are much larger than the workers. A queen lives in her own chamber where the workers look after her. A colony may have one queen or many. Male ants also have wings. In summer, a new queen flies away with the males to mate. Then she sheds her wings and starts a new colony or returns to her old one. The queen stays in the colony for the rest of her life, laying eggs. Queens often live 15 to 20 years. Only a queen can lay eggs. Larvae hatch from the eggs and become new ants. And larvae are kind of like worm-like creatures.
There are thousands of different kinds of ants. Fire ants can sting. Army ants travel across the land like a huge army, eating almost every small animal in their path. The biggest ants are more than an inch long. Others are so small that several of them could fit inside the hole in the letter A of ants. See that hole? That's how small they are. Big or small, an ant is strong. It can lift things much heavier than its own body. Have you ever seen a tiny leaf cutter ant carrying a big piece of a leaf over its head? That's what he's doing right there. One way to learn what happens in an ant colony is to study an ant farm. A whole colony of ants lives inside a clear plastic or glass box. The ants work so hard that just watching them might make you tired. And then in the back it shows you words that you might know, like chamber, tunnels, aphids, workers, carpenter ants, fire ant, etc. And of course, in the back, it's got an index of important words and what pages you can find them on, which is another sign that it is a nonfiction book, giving you true facts and information. Hopefully, you learned something about ants that you didn't know before. I certainly learned a couple of new things. And uh, you keep on learning, keep on reading, and we'll see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.